Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thanks for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So happy Sunday, guys. Hope everybody having a good weekend. Hope everybody's ready for this get work week. Time to get that bag. But guess what? So I'm kind of tired, guys. I've been busy these last few days, as some of you may know. But I did do some other little minor things in the room, like remove all of that weird chain and wire and straps and all that crap that was up there. Filled up that bag. Filled up that trash bag right there full of that stuff. So I don't know why I was up there, but we no longer have that. So in this video, I wanna go ahead and show you how I am going to take and mud all of these seams. All of the areas where we have the sheetrock connecting, I'm gonna mud that over the screws, all of this. So we're going to do that. But before we do that, I wanna show you something else. Remember in the last video when I said that I didn't get to talk about that because I lost that footage. So let's do a few things in this video. So we fed the guys yesterday, but maybe we could feed them again today and they'll eat. We're going to try to feed them some silver sides. We're going to feed these guys some pellets. We're going to show you Harley. We're going to show you Carter. Carter, Hi. Carter, hop up. What's up? Hey. What's up? Oh. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Oh, your hands all wet. Hands all wet. So, like I said, we have a few things to do in this video. Got a wet shoulder. Mm. Right, you wanna go play? All right, so. Uh -uh. We'll feed the guys. He had, to, he had to get his little his little scoop. We'll feed the guys, and then we'll also, um, I'll show you that sink again. Oh yeah, so I didn't get to talk about, I think maybe I did. I think I did go over it last night anyway. So remember I said I moved these guys over here to this tank right here. They looking a lot happier than they did in this tank right here, even though this one has light. I don't even really run the lights in here that much because we keep the door open pretty much all day. So we don't have to run lights on these aquariums. Um, but I wanna do something more with this filtration. Once I do, I think I will, maybe not, cause they don't really need that much space. I was thinking of moving over these two guys right here, these, this pair. I want them to breed. I remember before I said numerous times how I'm not trying to breed fish, but these are some beautiful fish. I mean, I think we paid 170 for this guy. It's not about the pricing, but I would never pay $170 for a Red Devil, but this guy was so amazingly and stunning that I had to go ahead and still pay that 170. I think this one was Maybe like 60 or 70 bucks. That's typically the, the amount that I would pay mostly for one of those fish, but it's a nice looking fish. So when I do move them to a different aquarium, either, it'll either be the 60, it'll be the 125. We have a 75 that I haven't shown you. I don't think we're gonna do that in the 75, but once we move them, we're gonna change up the rock work. We're gonna put more smooth rocks on there so she can layer eggs on it. We're gonna put the little clay pots up in there. So in case that will encourage her, the breeding and the laying of the eggs and things like that. So stay tuned for that that's going to be new for the channel very new but i can't i'm actually looking forward to that so um like i was saying we have this 75 gallon up here that we need to go ahead and turn into a basking tank just like this Quite so off. huh and that happens quite often So, like I said, we're gonna cut out this panel right here, drop it down, bring this over. We're gonna put the platform inside here. We're going to put rock and sand and scape it so they could go up here and really just hang out. They're, they're really gonna have a whole new aquarium just to hang out and enjoy themselves. And then when they, get, when they wanna go into the water and do all that, they have this big aquarium. So, uh, that's gonna be in the next video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. But like I was saying, check it out. What y'all think? I had this scape in the storage, so I just threw it in here temporarily. Aida loves it. She said that she wants to leave it like this, right? You wanna leave it like this? I do. You know, we, we typically go with all real rock, real plants, real everything. We don't typically go this route, but what you guys think? Drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to, it's going to be up to, it's still going to be up. It's going to be up to us. It's going to be up to us. <laughs> but 
we still would like to know what you guys think. Cause I don't even know what I would put in here with this. Like we wanted all these fresh water and I think it's such a contradiction to sit up there and have fresh water fish with a salt water um, decor. That's just my opinion. So that's why I'm thinking that it's not going to work because I definitely want to go fresh no, and no yeah. So that's, that's my take on it. So check it out. I seal with this. This sink was working perfectly fine, but it had a crack in it. Crack completely gone. So now it's time to hit it with this flex seal. So I got to do this outside. So I'm about to go ahead and disconnect this sink, take this outside, spray this, and then right about here, we have our mud tape and mud. Here's the mud. Here's the tape, here's the putty knife, and that's the spreading knife. So we about to go ahead and take care of this. But first, let me go ahead and take out this sink. So make sure you cut the water off when you do this. You don't wanna get water, shoot, have water shooting everywhere. So make sure you cut that off first. It's gonna have a little water backed up in the line, a little bit of pressure, that's fine. So we're going clockwise to cut it off. It should always be located up under your sink. Pop up. All right, so now there's two ways to disconnect this. We could disconnect it right here. Babe, oh, I got it. These are the shutoffs right here. And then when you disconnect it, you could either disconnect it right here or right here. You see this side got the Teflon tape? That's what that white tape is. That's Teflon tape. So, we also have to disconnect it right there. You see that? So, I think I'll just go ahead and disconnect them right there where the Teflon tape is. So, this is how you let's check the water. Let's me know the water is cut off. So I have these two crested wrenches. We hold one, turn one. Just like that. As long as it pop, you good. See, just like that, little drip, that's okay. It's nothing. If you don't cut that water off, you're gonna have much more than a drip. Smells very strong. Definitely recommend that you do this outside. Hey, babe. I was just saying, smell just like spray paint. Get a nice thick layer on the bottom. Definitely hold my breath for the most part.
Now, like I said, I'm gonna hit that bottom too. Check it out. What, Papa? You see him? Yeah, just decided to hit the whole bottom. It looked better anyway. Yeah, just like that. Looks good. Looks like new. Mm-hmm. Almost. <laughs> right. So. Looking good, looking good. Yeah. I'm just going to use the rest of this can on it. I don't need to hold on to it. Have you done this before? I have not, it's the first time. So I think anybody could use it. If this looks easy, it is easy. It's just as easy as it looks. It's just... All right. All right, guys, that's it. As you see, I went and got some gloves because that stuff do not come off. That got on my hand. Didn't want to come off. Got on the little part that goes in the phone for the mic. Don't want to come off. So I don't recommend that you get it on your hands. Then you won't have to figure out how to get it off. So I'll let that sit outside. And uh, like I said, so now let me show you how I'm going to tape and mud all of these seams. I'm not putting you through all of this, but I just wanna show you how I do this. Over here, baby. So, we have a seam up there. We have a ladder right here. We're about to make these two meet. Ladder. Meat seam. All right. I'll use this little putty knife right here to help me not only get into there because it didn't have a lip. So when you have your compound sitting for a long period of time, it separates. So you seeing the oil in there is fine. It's kind of like paint. If you if you leave paint sitting for a long time, it's going to separate. You're definitely going to see all of the oil sitting on top and your paint mixed in about just sitting on the bottom. So what do you do? You got to mix it around. So you mix it around until there's no longer any oil in the paint or this compound. So check it out. Can you get... So as you see, I'm breaking it up. And this happens, like I said, whenever you have it sitting for a long period of time. I don't really care about working at all because you know, I really don't need all of it. The other way of getting you some joint compound is if you buy it and it's in powder form and then you just add water to it. That stuff hardens so fast I hate using that stuff. All right, so the other way of, of doing it once you get it to a good consistency, you could put it in this little trough right here. Carly, bad girl. 
you put it in this little trough right here just like that shouldn't because got this good mic on and then just go to work on it go to town consistency I'm looking for you really just don't want to have no clumps so as long as all those clumps are out you got something to work with all right so I could have started up there but you know what I gotta do this too let me show you this so first I'm gonna hit it with the mud then I'll put the tape over it. Just like this. Damn, they don't even have to put tape on it. I'll be raw with it. I damn, they don't even have to put tape on it. So, this is why I said it's like multiple applications. Because in some of these areas, you just want to get it on there. You kind of fill in some of these big voids, big cracks, holes, whatever. Let me show you how I work with the tape, though. But sometimes like this, let me move this out the way. Like this is a big one, so you may need to just get it on there thick like this, and then sand it down, and then hit it again, so it'll be even. You know what I'm saying? Look how fast that went. Like I said, multiple applications in some of these areas. And I know y'all seeing some of this mud fly, don't worry about that. When it dry, comes right up. When it's wet like that, and you when you try to move it, it smear on it. You're gonna wind up making a whole mess of it. But even like right here, I'm gonna let that dry, pop that right on off. But look how fast that went. Got a little bit more, matter of fact. And so what this has is, it has a little sheet metal blade on both sides. So that's how you able to scrape it. Who would have thought you would have came to somebody that has a fish to fish channel and learn how to and learn how to patch a wall, huh? So I don't know if you figured it out yet, but let me just uh, break this down for you. I know how to do a bunch of things, and. Uh, I actually have my own business doing things like this. I have a painting business and I have a handyman business. I don't know if I told you guys that. I think I made the video on the on the way coming back from Reading and decided not to put it out. So yeah, yeah, I didn't say I didn't tell you guys that. So yeah, so um, yeah, I do this. <coughs> I do this, but. Yeah, man. This is fun. How many of you guys take it upon yourself to do these things yourself? These kind of DIY projects. I feel like I get so much satisfaction out of doing these things myself. We got the lights on now. Mm -hmm. They were off the whole time. We didn't need them. You see that? Mm -hmm. And then let me tell you another little trick. 
If this start getting a little hard, you don't go grab more of that, just hit it with a little water. Do the same thing, loosen it up, mix it up, and go right back to it. So all these areas, I could have been using that tape, but you know, I feel like I don't have to. Not yet. Look at that big space right there. Easy. So you see how those are gone? So now I'm just gonna sand that down a little bit. When it dry, make sure it's all flat. So you always wanna make sure you cover the hole. If you can still see the hole, you're gonna still see the hole. So as long as the hole is gone, skim over it, take as much excess as you can off, and then come back with the sander, sand it, make sure it's all even. If it's not, do this process again, sand it, make sure it's even, and you're gonna repeat that process as many times as you got to until it's even. Ain't nothing worse than seeing a hole or seeing where somebody had patched a hole and you can see exactly where that hole was. Like, that's crazy. That's, uh, that's lazy, I feel like. Let's make quick work of this one. Could you see this one, babe? Let's, we're going to do that one. Watch this. So I, look at all this mud I got on there, right? It's a little too much. It's a little too much. We don't. <clears throat> this is the time that that tape come in handy. And the reason why is so I don't have to put all, push all that mud in there. But let me, I want to just show you how you do a big one. You fill in a big hole. Just like that. Get all that in there gone. Now I really want to make that line disappear even more so I'm going to skim over it just like that. Just like that. See that? <clears throat> See that? Yeah. So that's how we, that's how you do it. I got a lot to do. I'm gonna probably start using the tape in like areas like that. A big area like this, there's no way that I'm about to shove all this mud into there. But on the side like that, I'm cool with it. Right here, watch this. I'll make this big one right here disappear. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you gotta go. Where you, <laughs> man, you been here too long. Man. Bye. And then we're gonna sand that down. We're going to hit it with that mud again. Probably hit that with the tape. Just like that. Something. So when your blade's not clean, or if you have any, any of the sheetrock or anything getting into your compound mix, you're going to have these lines. And you don't want those lines. So what you got to do is, you got to clean this on out. It's got to go. You need some new, need some new compound. So let's go to the trash can. All right, guys. So it's just me and you. I either had to go deal with Carter. He's a maniac. All right, so like I was saying, so I had to clear, I had to clean my knife because it was making lines in there and that's something that I don't like because those lines are gonna stay. And even when you have a good job, you're gonna find yourself trying to get those lines out. So there we go, get this nice and smooth. Sorry guys, that's much better though.
good, looking good. That's where I picked up that sheet rock last time, right over here. So we're gonna get some more. I'm gonna do this section right here because I was telling you about this. This side right here, we're gonna hit it with the tip with the mud, then we're gonna hit it with the tape. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. And then I'll just do this, finish this up by myself. I got a lot to do. I I really don't even feel like doing all this tonight, to be honest with you. It's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. But we'll see. We'll see. I could definitely get a lot more done when I'm not recording because I got to always keep in mind that I'm trying to have you guys see what I'm doing. I think it's important and I hope that this is helpful. I hope that if you find yourself in a situation when you're trying to patch a hole or, um, you know, patches to go over a seam, something like that, I hope you could reference this video and, it's, and you find that it was useful. If not, it's all good. That's fine too. So this is what I'm doing. guys so we're gonna mud it and move this ladder out the way we're gonna mud it and we're gonna take it sorry don't mind the laundry products this is where we wash our clothes obviously so hit it with a little mud I've been trying to use that tape. I'll show you how to use it. But that's gone. And I'm able to keep going all the way down, which is crazy. sweat got me a sweat going up in here all right so and this is this is coming along quite swell splendid See what I'm doing. See what I'm doing. We should take a look at that. We should take a look at that that sink real quick, and then uh, we're gonna feed these guys. Matter of fact, get some some silver sides. I'm about to order some silver sides right now. need to uh, place the order for about 20 silver sides. Okay. All right. All? Say what? Would that be all? Yep, that's all. All right, come on right up. All right, thank you, babe. Bye-bye. All right, bye. All right, so 
We have an order of silver size coming. Let's go take a look at that sink. Okay. It's not pretty. I didn't say it was going to be pretty. I can spray paint this thing though. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll spray paint it. Uh, black. I think I'll spray paint this black. <laughs> yep. But it's looking good though. Crack completely gone. I know I'll be able to use this. That's for sure. Save myself 200 bucks. Speaking of saving money, I, man, we almost got ripped off the other day. We had a uh, we had the plumber come out. I guess it's a little story time. We're gonna do story time with the tanks in the background. So, so we had the plumber come out because our main line is kind of nasty, but we, our main line was backed up for the toilets. That's the main line. So your toilets, everything in the bathroom, it all go down to one big drain. It's called the main line. So the main line goes straight out to the street. That was backed up. Um, they came out when we first got here to clear it. I could have cleared it myself, but I didn't have my big 75 foot drum, which is a, a snake. I didn't have it, it was in storage. So we called them, they came out, they cleared it. We called them back like a week and a half later. They didn't even do anything. They said they were gonna run the camera and they were gonna run the jetter. Seems, seems pretty, you know, seems pretty straightforward, right? Inexpensive, right? They said $2,600 to run this jetter and then run a camera afterwards. They start talking about how they know the area, this, that, and the other, you know, it's long drains, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're gonna need a jet, they're gonna need a jetter, a jetter that runs 300 yards. This is what they said, big truck. I wasn't about to pay 2,600 bucks for that. They went down to 2,000. I wasn't about to pay $2,000 for that. So, you know, like I said, I do these, you know, I have my handyman business. I do these kind of jobs. So I've cleared main lines on, at commercial buildings plenty of times. Never needed a jetter. Sometimes you need a jetter. If you needed a jetter, I don't have a jetter. So if you needed a jetter, somebody else was going to do it. But I have done these jobs and I've done it with a $6 plunger, y'all. So when they said $2,000, I went to Home Depot and I bought my handy dandy six dollar plunger i cleared that drain in under three minutes and i'm not exaggerating only and i and i say three minutes because i stopped and was talking to aida about it like i can't believe that i'm already about to clear this and it's only been like 45 seconds barely even started it was it's harder to some it's harder to clear a, 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 a backed up toilet sometimes it's harder to clear a backed up toilet sometimes so three minutes in Drain clear. I ran so much water. I ran so much water down that drain with the water hose. Cleaned everything that was out there. Ran the toilet. Ran the uh, the shower. Flushed the toilets. Ran the sinks. Everything was good. Costing me six dollars. Now imagine if they would have said a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. I would have paid that. But when they said two thousand dollars, I said no. That don't make no sense. You don't have to bring that 300 yard snake or that 300 yard jetter. You don't have to bring that. You can just bring a jetter, a regular jetter that you could come out, bring out your truck and could have jetted that, but they didn't want to do that. So, hey, y'all lost some money. And then I proved once again that it makes more sense to do so many things yourself and not allow yourself to get ripped off. But um, that's story time, that's story time. So um, if you could take something from that story, aside from knowing that sometimes you need to just do it yourself and not allow yourself to get ripped off, you can clear your main line with a plunger. And the plunger you want to use, I'll show it to you. This is the actual plunger that I bought and used for that. $6, guys. No sponsor at all. This $6 plunger, Home Depot. It has the bellows. That's the reason why this plunger works so well, because of the bellows. So, might come in handy, I don't know. All right, guys, we got our fish. We have our fish 
and we're about to feed our fish. So let's start off with the freshwater guys. These guys have been loving their pellets lately, believe it or not. All right, here we are. You know, I couldn't leave on a tripod. I couldn't play all like that. Y'all be missing out. So here we go. Bright kinds grabbing some pellets. Golden Jack Dempsey grabbing like six. Here come Buddy, Red Devil, Dovi. Let's get some more in there for you guys. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so good to see that they're back to acting normal and that they have their appetites back. Because after going through all that they've been through, I'm just glad they're still here. Look at this Dovi still living in this community tank, guys. Look at this. Look at this 12 inch Dovi still living in this community tank. Crazy, right? So sometimes it does happen. You can't pull it off. All right. Let's check out these guys. Let's do it. Come on, we got a, we got some pellets for you. We got some pellets for you. Here we go. Come on. Y'all just let them all go over here. Y'all don't want to get the ones that's over here. <laughs> Y'all don't want to get the ones that's over here. Come on now, there we go. And sorry for this reflection, this glare, all that. I'll figure out the lighting. I'll definitely figure out a way around that. So I still got to add more water to this tank. But nonetheless, that's the fresh water, guys. Uh, this is side I like to feed them on. To see if, they, uh, if, they're, if they're hungry. Yep. I don't know if you heard that. I don't know if you heard that. Smack him. There we go. Did y'all catch that one? Sorry, man. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta get y'all closer. They, they, they hungry. They eating. Oh man, they eating. Ooh, they hungry. Ooh, they hungry. They eating. They hungry. Come on. There we go. Got it. There we go. Another one. There we go. Come on. Come on. I uh, know I, I I'm not leaving you hanging, Bart. There we go. Snatch that. Disappear. Come on. Come on. We got it right here. Right here. Let's see if he gets four again. He ate four yesterday. Come on. Come on, Tess. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, he's not waiting. He's not waiting. There's another one. Come on, Bart. Bart, let's do it, Tess. Let's go. Come on now. Right here. Tess, come on, stop playing. Stop playing. Right here. There you go. You're not gonna get that? Snatch that. Ooh, snatch that. Yeah. Bart, let's go. I know you're hungry. There we go. Uh-huh. Snatch that. Gone. Gone. Tess, you want another one? You look like you want another one. Ooh. Bit a piece in half. Who's gonna get that? Tess looks like he's gonna get that for sure. If you don't, the grouper will get it. Where's our little grouper at? Where'd he go? Where's the other one? Here's our two big groupers. Where's the little one at? There you go. You not hungry? What's up? You not filling the menu? Come on now. There we go. Look, that's for you. Yeah, come on, come get that. Ah, man, I got you. I'm not, I'm not leaving you hanging. It's right there. Snatch it. I can't get it. I can't get it. Ah, oh, you playing. 
Okay, well, let me try another piece then. Thought she was getting left hanging. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, for playing. That's what you get for playing. Missed out. How does it feel? Huh? How does it feel? Got left out. Bart looking like he wants one more piece though. What y'all think? Think Bart ready for another one? Let's see. Ooh, he was. Ooh. He's so fast with it, I can't even get him on camera. I can't even get him on camera. I told you though, I said they were eating well. They're doing good. I'm happy. I'm really happy about that. We may not have a whole tank full of fish like how we had it, but you know what? Sometimes less is more, you know, and they have plenty of space. They're here. I'm grateful. And, uh, you know, they're doing good. They're doing really good. I need to feed my fire shrimp up there. That's right in front of this window. I got to cover this window up. So we have the fire shrimp and the hermits up here. So I'm just going to throw some of those big pellets in there. Let's see if, see if you can see the fire shrimp anywhere. Nope, I don't see him. I don't see him. Hmm. We also got some hermit crabs, and I see the hermit crabs moving around. Oh, there's the fire shrimp. There you go. See him? I see him right there. There you go. Anyway, yeah, he's up there. This is gonna be cool. I'll probably put like a 125 up here. Have it sitting right on top of this tank. Have it plumbed in. Have it all on one filtration. And then have in that 125 all the fish that I can't keep in here. All the ones that these guys are gonna eat. But that's in the future, so stay tuned for that. Oh, we got so much to do, guys. We got so much to do. And as I'm thinking about it, I'm probably not going to get through all of this tonight. It's a lot of work. It's a lot. I'm going to get through as much as I can, but uh, I'm not going to push it. Let's go ahead and feed our Miami, and then we're going to wrap this on up. You know, Miami is a beast, right? If y'all new to the channel, y'all don't know, this is Miami. She is a female. Florida soft shell turtle. She's about 13 inches. Her carapace is about 13 inches. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, she should get about two foot. I bought her at the size of a quarter. I bought her and a male partner she had. Well, I bought her and her brother. Um, she actually killed him. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a process and that was, that was that a lot going on with that. If you wanna see what actually happened with that, go ahead and and look at some of those um, older videos of when we basically took Clyde to go and get um, surgery and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and feed her. She's hungry for sure. So we have a few silver sides left. Come on, let's go. Come on, Miami. And I named her Miami because, you know, the obvious, you know, Florida soft shell turtle. Come on, let's go, right here. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. There you go. So she could probably eat about 20 of these. 20 of these silver sides. She's pretty good with eating. She'll eat crack almost anything that I put inside the tank. So she'll never have any fish mates or anything like that unless, you know, they're food. Scarfing it, scarfing it, man. Woo. She almost got the tongs with that one. The 
look at that. And it's always crazy how she just like fills up her neck with the food and then swallows it. She don't really swallow one at a time. Ah, she got the tongs. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, guys. As a matter of fact, I feel like I'm doing a terrible job with recording. I eat is so much better at this than I am. Let me put you guys on a tripod. That might help. I really want you guys to be able to see this. Ah! Uh. Man, I'm glad that phone didn't break. All right, so look, we got three more. Let's see if I can get her to get right in front of to the bottom come on no don't get the no don't get that right down there there's the fish wrong part get the fish get the fish ah here we go got it so that about wraps it up i hope you enjoyed the video i hope that you learned something we have a lot to do tonight i have a lot to do tonight actually um so when i catch you guys tomorrow hopefully as much of this is done as possible and uh yeah Thank you for tuning in to another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow me on Facebook The Fish Corner. Follow me on TikTok The Fish Corner. And until next time, guys, peace.